l o p u r i and c a m p u c h i a n art. This gallery exhibits both l o p u r i and c a m p u c h i a n arts because both artistic styles were created from the same cultural lineage, and were apparently very similar. Western historians once called l o p u r i art c a m p u c h i a n art found in Thailand, but truthfully, if one scrutinizes and compares the details of both styles. One will find that the degrees of differences between l o p u r i and c a m p u c h i a n styles are as much as the degrees of similarities found between the two styles. With untrained eyes, differentiating l o p u r i from c a m p u c h i a n artifacts were like trying to differentiate Greek from Roman artifacts. If one is not an expert, one will find that both Greek and Roman styles look the same. And have difficult time to discern the differences between the two styles. The major differences between l o p u r i and c a m p u c h i a n styles are roughly summarized here. For c a m p u c h i a n style, during the pre-Angkor period, most of the sculptures were made from sandstone with square face and mustache akin to Indian men. However, l o p u r i sandstone sculptures. Mostly found in the southern and the eastern part of present-day Thailand, were made of different kinds of sandstones and did not have mustache. Additionally, l o p u r i artifacts found in the southern Thailand were sculpted with long loin cloth called s a r o n g or j o n g k a b e n folded in the front, and sometimes with a ribbon-like knot on the side of the hip. l o p u r i style cylindrical mitre was taller than that of c a m p u c h i a n style, with its corner were erased or carved out until the edges were clearly visible. Square facial shapes and cylindrical mitre details still differentiate c a m b o d i a n artifacts from Angkor period from its contemporary l o p u r i artifacts. With additional discriminating attributes that were the artistic details of waistbands or belts, the folding of l o i n cloth in the front, artistic details of decorative arc, and the number of Buddha's postures under a decorative arc. Waistbands of l o p u r i style have more sophisticated details than those of c a m p u c h i a n style. l o p u r i s t y l e s loin cloth were depicted like multiple folded cloth in the front with different designs. Meanwhile, c a m p u c h i a n s t y l e loin cloth were depicted with single fold that look like a fish tail in the front. For Buddha images with decorative arc, l o p u r i s t y l e decorative arcs were created with multiple levels and beautifully decorated with perforated patterns. However, c a m p u c h i a n s t y l e s arcs were usually created with simpler design without perforated patterns. Moreover, a l o p u r i s t y l e s Buddha image with decorative arc usually enclosed two Buddha images with two different gestures under the same arc, but this practice was not popular among c a m p u c h i a n s During late l o p u r i period or between 10th to 11th centuries. l o p u r i artifacts found were mostly Buddhist artifacts, for example, Buddha images and Buddhist s a t w a image. Meanwhile, c a m p u c h i a n artifacts found were Hindu artifacts. In this gallery, c a m p u c h i a n and l o p u r i artifacts were arranged and displayed side by side for comparative purposes. c a m p u c h i a n artifacts are displayed in window one, window two. In the bottom level, window six, all images except an image on the top level on the left. Window seven, window eight, and window nine in the bottom level. Window ten is a large window displaying both c a m p u c h i a n and l o p u r i artifacts. c a m p u c h i a n artifacts in window ten are displayed on the top level. The second slot from the left. In the second level from the top, the second, fourth, and fifth slots from the left. In the third level from the top, the first and the second slots from the left.
and in the bottom level, the fourth slots from the left and the large image on the left. Additional composition artifacts are displayed in window 13. Three images on the back row in the middle level of the window 13. Window 15 on the top level, middle image. Window 16, large four images on the top and bottom levels on the left and the right sides. Small slot on the left on the top level and small slot on the right in the middle level. Window 17, the most left on the top level. Window 19, window 20, window 21, window 22, and window 23 on the top level and bottom level, left and right images. Other artifacts displayed here are Lopuri style artifacts, including the multi arm metal statue near the entrance. A Lopuri stone statue of a kneeling Pranya Paramita at the inner sanctum and stone statues with our mustache in several show windows. Otherwise, all icons outside exhibition windows are Kampuchean artifacts. In addition, this gallery also exhibits several ancient India and Kampuchean artifacts in window 17 and 18. Window 17 displays on the top level from left to right a Kampuchean sandstone sculpture from Angkor period, a Chola style green stone head of Bodhisattva from southern India, and a 1,800 years old Gandaha style statue of Bodhisattva. Also, in the bottom level of window 17, the middle icon is an Indian statue of Mahavira, or Wat Hamana, the 24th and last Jain Tirthanka, or teaching God. Jainism was created 11 years before Buddhism. Jainism and Buddhism were contemporary with each other and have quite similar teaching to each other. Window 18 exhibits Jaina icons of many Jainas.